James Lund is James the Wine Guy. Stay tuned for this video review. Beautiful olive oil from Portugal, as well as a Sauvignon Blanc from Chile. So I wanted to highlight this together because each of these are going to be, so all of those going to be its own review as well as a Chilean Sauvignon Blanc. The reason I want to bring this together is for me, I think it's really important to highlight the versatility of pairing together beautiful things. I could have done a Portuguese white wine or red wine in this video review, but instead I really wanted to get to the heart of the matter, which is variation, variety. I remember years ago, somebody told me, he said, oh, you can only pair Greek olive oil with Greek wine. And I thought, hmm, yes, you can. There's nothing wrong with it. It's actually interesting to mix things up a bit, right? Uh, there's no relationship between these necessarily, but there's nothing opposed to it either, uh, diametrically opposed. I think that's the beauty of the food culture we are in today, the wine culture, is that we can have a richness and uh, variation that really goes a long way on the palate goes uh, in terms of our memories that we share with our family and friends when we're sharing our food and wine with our family and friends. I think this is a great way of doing this. So I purposely, you know, looked at the Whole Foods, found this beautiful olive oil from Arba, Kenya, that's the variety, and also this beautiful Chilean uh, Sauvignon Blanc. So what we have here, I'll start off with the Sauvignon Blanc here first, is Voy Manet, and this is a Sauvignon Blanc from the Valle de Colchagua in Chile, 2014 vintage, a 13% ABV. This uh, winery is founded, uh, family owned still in 1933. Back panel for your inspection right here. And uh, this is a really handsome, gorgeous Sauvignon Blanc, and I got all this at Whole Foods. Uh, for me, I think this is a really great celebratory wine in terms of, you know, it's inexpensive. You can have this any day of the week, and yet it's still a very high quality, beautiful Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, characterization is really intense, so I'll tell you about that in a moment. Uh, but ultimately, the, the idea here was to bring something that's going to pair well with a variety of food suggestions that I'm going to bring up after uh, I do the tasting of this olive oil. But I think this is a really rich, gorgeous, uh, acid-forward wine, but food-friendly as well. So in this, I'm getting a scent characterization of calla lilies, grapefruit, passion fruit, tea, and sesame. Next are the flavor characterization, then the point score. Mm. So on this lovely wine include grapefruit, granny smith apple, early season apricot, orange, zest, fennel, hint of clove, and spices. And I give this wine a 9.2 out of my 10.0 scale. I think it has 92 points out of 100 points. Beautiful acid forward wine here. Absolutely phenomenal. And uh, pairs well with this Arabic Kenya uh, olive oil. So I really am enjoying this uh, olive oil program from Whole Foods. So it's country specific. And it's also highlighting the uh, olive oil varieties, the olive varieties rather, in each of the uh, bottlings here. I think it's fantastic. And Arabic Kenya is one I really look forward to. So I said... Um, I have other videos on olive oils from Whole Foods, EVOO, because I think it's really important to bring out what is happening in the wine world is reflecting in the food world as well. That is simply, I think people are curious to know, um, you know, maybe they've had an olive oil from Spain or Portugal or Chile, but ultimately it's to bring together those uh, characteristic uh, varieties that are coming together and give a different uh, you know, experience. And that's what it's all about. And I think ultimately because of wine and people having, like yourself, a curiosity, and like myself, but a curiosity of knowing the grape variety, people are wanting to know the olive variety as well. So I think that's a great dependability, but also a sense of artistry, style, and uh, palate preference. So here we go, um, take a little spoonful of this beautiful olive oil. Mm. Very mild, beautiful uh, notes of green herbs, white flowers, freshly roasted pine nuts, and um, a mild, mild sense of pepper, but not a lot. So if you don't like a lot of pepper, this might be a good one for you to try. This is a 9.3 out of my 10.0 scale, and these are both available at Whole Foods. So my food wine pairing suggestions are poached salmon, risotto, fried chicken, chicken shish kebab, and chicken fajitas, as well as goat cheese arugula pear salad. These are going to go fantastically well with it, so spice up your life, and uh, I actually put more information on these products down below, and other videos I've done for Whole Foods, 
olive oil program in doing this comparison because I think it's really interesting to bring this forward and uh, I really want to do these videos to you know mix it up a bit so it's not just bottle 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 review but it's also a mix of things so thank you so much for watching today stay tuned for more give a like to this video share this video and uh, subscribe to this channel so there's more to come it's an exciting 2015 and I'm glad you're here with me on this journey so let's stay connected let's uh, connect on other social media such as Facebook Twitter Google Plus Pinterest LinkedIn as well as Instagram and WordPress thank you again for watching today stay tuned for more salut